In this video, we are going to discuss one problem related to convolution. So, this type of problems we need to solve by using differentiation property of convolution. So, you can observe the problem convolute u of t plus 1 convolution with r of t minus 2. So, here if this type of problems are given, you need to choose two methods that means either um, actual uh, uh, formula method or by image method that we already discussed in the last classes what is the formula for convolution and what is the image method to solve convolution. But that two methods if you selected then you will get very long solution. But in technical exams like gate if you are used to take that two procedures then it will take so much time to reduce your time to get exact solution for this type of problems when you saw unit step function and ramp in convolution. That, that means unit step function and its next to integration is in convolution. So, you can use differentiation property in convolution. So, differentiation property in convolution states that if y of t is equal into x of t convolution with h of t then if you are asked to find out d by dt of y of t then you can take differentiation for any one of the signal or impulse response. That means if you are asked to find out d by dt of x of t then you can consider d by dt of x of t convolution with h of t like this this may be equal to d by dt of y of t or you can consider this differentiation for your impulse response that means so like this also you can solve that that means x of t convolution with d by dt of h of t. So now here by using this property I am going to solve this problem. So now first of all I want to consider my g of t is equal to u of t convolution with r of t. First of all, I am not going with this uh, problem. I am just considering any signal g of t which is in the convolution of standard unit step and standard ramp. Here in this problem, you can see a shifted unit step and shifted ramp. So, that shifted unit step is that is a left shifted or right shifted means that is a left shifted unit step. Why? Because when you equate t plus 1 is equal to 0, t plus 1 is equal to 0, then t is equal to minus 1. That means minus 1 means that is left x axis, negative x axis. Your unit step is shifted to negative x axis to minus 1. This is u of t plus 1. Now you need to convolute this one with shifted ramp. So shifted ramp means to which shift is going to shift means it's a right shifted ramp. How you can uh, found that is a right shifted ramp means you need to equate t minus 2 is equal to 0. Then you are going to get t is equal to 2. That t is equal to 2 will be in positive x axis. So you can say you are going to convolute with right shifted ramp. So, which is shifted to 2. So, this is R of, so this one is R of T minus 2. This is R of T minus 2. So, this is time period T. Now, we need to convolute these two. Before going into the convolution of shifted unit step and shifted ramp, I am going to consider my reference output signal as G of T. I am considering a standard result for convolution of U of T and R of T. I am going to consider g dash of t. g dash of t is nothing but differentiate, differentiation of g of t. That means first derivative of g of t I am going to consider. g dash refers to first derivative of g of t. If you consider g double dash then that is d square by dt square like that. That means second derivative. But here I am considering first derivative of g dash of t. So, if you want to consider g dash of t according to these equations you can consider differentiation either for u of t or for r of t. Which one is best? You know that integral del of t is equal to u of t. 
integral del of t is equivalent to u of t that means so del of t is equivalent to d by dt of u of t when integration comes th this side then it will become differentiation that means if you consider this differentiation for the first signal that means not for r of t if you consider for this then you are going to get impulse function after taking that as impulse function if you convoluted with r of t so impulse function convolution with any signal you are going to get the same signal so here for, uh, that's why i'm going to consider differentiation for this u of t no need to consider for u of t only you can consider for r of t also but as i'm getting some easier signal here so uh, that's why i'm going to consider my differentiation for u of t when you are calculating first derivative you need to consider for any one so here i'm considering for u of t d by dt of u of t convolution with r of t so like this you need to write when you are considering g dash of t so here as you know that d by dt of u of t is equivalent to del of t i'm replacing that by using del of t del of t convolution with r of t now you know that so del of t convolution with r of t is nothing but so here r of t so why because impulse function convoluted with any signal is going to produce the same signal so here now i am going to consider g of t again here we consider g dash of t after simplification i am going to take g of t value again from this g dash of t if you want to consider g of t from this g dash of t what you are going to do if this is d by dt of g of t then if you want g of t here then you need to consider integration of r of t why because this differentiation when moved to this side will become integration now you know what is integration of r of t now you can see so g of t is equal to now integral r of t is nothing but integral t dt you can write this as t square by 2 u of t so this is the solution for g of t but we don't require the convolution of u of t and r of t that means you don't require the value for g of t you require same convolution for shifted version that means so here for example if g of t is equal to u of t convolution with r of t for next convolution if these t signals are taking some shift then what will happen so that shift will be included in the resultant signal so that means here this shift is equal to g of t plus 1 t plus 1 plus t minus 2 so how much you are having here you can take you can consider t plus 1 t plus 1 minus 2 so totally you are having t minus 1 shift so this is equal to so you can see actually u of t convolution with r of t is equal to g of t so if u of t taken uh, taken a shift and r of t is also taken a shift those two shifts are having effect on this g of t that means now you can write g of t first u of t shift is plus 1 and r of t shift is minus 2 so totally this is equal to t minus 1 g of t minus 1 that means obviously you need to find the value for g of t minus 1 but you know the value for g of t so to consider the value of g of t minus 1 from g of t you need to substitute t minus 1 in place of t so that means i am going to consider g of t minus 1 here so now this is equal to t minus 1 whole square by 2 u of t minus 1 so this is the value related to this convolution that means what is the convolution result of u of t plus 1 convolution with r of t minus 2 means simply that is equal to t minus 1 whole square by 2 u of t minus 1 you can see how simple this is first you need to consider 
the standard convolution of u of t and r of t from this onwards if you saw convolution of any unit step with ramp definitely no need to do this procedure also you know the final value of standard signal g of t which came from convolution of u of t and r of t as t square by 2 u of t in this you need to substitute the given shift for example in any other exam if you ask it to find out what is the convolution of u of t minus 2 convolution with r of t minus 2 then what you will do so when you saw convolution of u of t with r of t definitely you are going to consider the convolution result as t square by 2 u of t in that in this t square by 2 u of t you need to substitute the shift that means so shift is t minus 2 minus 2 that means g of t minus 4 so in this standard g of t if you substituted t minus 4 then you are going to get the convolution of u of t minus 2 and r of t minus 2 that means so t minus 4 whole square by 2 u of t minus 4 will be the result of this convolution so you can consider this value as a shortcut for convolution of unit step with ramp so when you saw convolution of unit step with ramp the convolution result standard convolution result will be like this when you are having shift in unit step or ramp you need to consider that shift and you need to substitute that shift to get the result of convolution